Hey guys, I'm out here cutting up some lead screws for some garage work CNC machines. And as I'm sitting here cutting these up and filing them, it's occurred to me that I never did shoot a video on how to cut these and uh, how to file them and all that. So I thought, well, I've already got some of it done, but I'll go ahead and grab the camera and bring it out here and give you a close up and kind of show you what I do. First of all, when I cut them, there's nothing special. I use this uh, DeWalt uh, right angle grinder and I put a cutoff wheel that's a four and a half by 045 by 7 eighths. Uh, and I'll bring the camera in for a close up of my little fixture here, but I've got a fixture which is nothing more than a two before. Uh, and it's got this big V groove down the center and then I've got different V's for the different lengths and then of course I've got a stop down there. So for example, if I take this one, stick it on here right down to the stop. It's been cut right here for the x-axis on the 4x4 which is 51 and 3 eighths. So it makes it real easy to not make a mistake cutting. Once I get them cut, I then swap out this cutoff wheel for just a, uh, just a grinding pad. And I'll take these things and I'll put them on the the end of my fixture here and hold this on here and just kind of grind them a little bit and spin this as I'm doing it, try to put a little little chamfer on there to clean them up. But that's still not enough to be able to get the coupling on because it will be buggered up and you'll just screw this up if you force it on there. So I'm going to move the camera in and I'll show you what I use to file these. Okay, I've got, got a couple more here that I haven't uh, finished filing. So basically I just take them and set them in this little groove fixture here so I don't have to, uh, to hold it. And I just take a, just a big flat file and just kind of hit it a few times to make sure there's nothing sharp. And I just take my hand and kind of run over to it, make sure there's nothing sharp. Then I take this little triangular file that you can see and this works perfect for getting down into each of the five starts. So I just take it and put it right in one of the grooves of one of the starts. Just hit it back and forth a few times. Spin it around, hit the next start. You know, like I said, there's five starts on these, so you'll have to do this five times. Spin it around again. And all you're doing is taking that little burr off where it's kind of folded it over uh, when you were cutting it off. Okay, I think I've got all five of them there. And then I have a uh, test coupling that I use and once, if I've done my filing correctly, that thing should screw right on there. And I'll screw it all the way in and you can see maybe that it's gone all the way, a little more than halfway up there. And then what I also do is I'll turn this thing around and make sure I check the factory. And a lot of times they've got these cleaned up pretty good. Not all the time. This one looks like it's gonna need some cleaning. I'll just hit each one of these five real quick a few times. Okay, now we'll see if that'll fit. And just, to, just that quick you can clean it up and it goes right on there. And one thing I might mention that on some of these, the factory end, if I can find that one I had a while ago, I think it was this one. If you get one that's got a factory end that's like this, and it's already kind of been turned down a little bit, always put that end against your stop and cut off the other end because usually when they're already turned down like that, they go on really easy. So, 
If you've got one that looks like that, always cut from the other end and then clean up that end. So, I guess that's going to do it for this little video. Like I said, I was out here cutting these and I thought I never did do a, a video to show this. So, just thought I'd pull the camera out and show it real quick. And I would encourage all you guys that are uh, getting these garage work CNC, save yourself a little money, buy your lead screws. Uh, you know, I got the link on the website where you can buy them and just cut them yourself. It's not it's not that big a deal to, to file these. So, uh, and of course, you can, I've got the link on there where you can buy the couplers too instead of buying those from me. So, save yourself some money, guys. Do a little uh, DIY work. So, I guess that's going to do it. Uh, I guess I'll talk to y'all next time. Thanks for watching.